Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum Welcome back to my youtube channel And this is part 7 of this video series In the previous part We had discussed about all the basic of uh, ASP.NET Core Identity Framework We had done with the sign up API With the roles implementation And we have done uh, with the email verification and we just implemented the login code in the last video if you have not uh, watched all these previous part then i highly recommend you to watch all these previous video and then come back to this video number seven so let's start this video in this video we are going to test uh, our login api with the different roles all right let's flip to the visual studio as you can see that i have created a controller separately for admin and i have created an api for uh, getting a list of employees and right now i have just uh, added the name hard coded no database call so for the example i have done this let's uh, go to swagger and try to access this you can have a look that we can easily access this API the API is working this does not require any authentication and authorization that means anyone can use if I deploy this uh, swagger to the uh, public IP that means anyone can use this resource anyone can access this data so we need to do what first step is to authenticate so let's flip to the visual studio back and uh, how you can uh, make this secure so that uh, outside of your company and the people who are not authorized to use will uh, restrict so you need to add uh, author authorize attribute here it's a very simple just write authorize and press control period add the name is space using microsoft.asp.net code authorization now let's try this again okay now when i try this uh, api you will see i am getting 500 error okay the reason is that uh, i messed something or did something wrong in the middleware and i really know that what was it so let's go back to the program.cs and let's tally the code again this is the connection string we're not gonna change this this is for the uh, identity role and this is also fine this this is not fine you see this code is incomplete we need you see when I try to access this API is giving me 401 error just because of this authorize attribute I cannot access this API until I have a user role or permission to use this okay so what I need to do I will have to log in first and I will get a token in the response and then with that token i can access this resource or api so uh, but in the swagger you can add a button for the authorization here so we will be doing it uh, in the middle where let's flip to the video story and stop this and make sure your code is fine i added jwt bearer option uh, after this line of code builder.service.add authentication so this was not done in the previous video I just did in this video and now another thing we need to do we need to remove this builder.service swagger gen and we need to add this line of code it's a lot of configuration for the authorization 
you can have a look to this code don't worry you can just copy and paste as I did okay, you don't need to change anything my API name is auth API so I'm not getting a change and remain it as the same and don't make anything okay one thing more add app dot authentication right it's fine now let's run this application so we know that we cannot access this api until we have a login so let's go here and try username mm, like s a l m salman d and the password is a b c d word at this okay so after entering the correct credentials we will be getting uh, an access token in the response so we get this token let's copy this and you see what we did in the middleware we added uh, a few code for getting this button in the uh, up right here builder.service add swagger gen and option and off related to everything so we configure the swagger so for adding the authorization button you need to write this piece of code and let's look to the visual again and paste this authorization token bearer token and let's click this and you can have a look that i have we can use this we can we can uh, we can say we, we are authorized to use this okay let's flip to the uh, sql server back now when i run this okay i log in from this user okay uh, and the user role you can look up right here is 4f is admin yeah now we try with some other user who is not admin so but this is the admin controller and when i will try with an another user i uh, will be you know not getting restricted to use this in like uh, if I want to restrict the admin resource to be used by only admin not to be used by any other role so I will have to do what I will have to define it like further this role equals to admin so this can be accessed by the admin only not any other than admin uh, user cannot access this uh, let's just remove this for now for testing and let's create another user I deleted all the user other than my this user which is admin now I am going to create a new user with the HR role for verification let's click the execute button okay you see it's saying that the user already exists salman b already exists let's make this salman c saying user already exists sorry i clicked uh, that twice the user is created and the email has been sent to my email let's go to the inbox for the verification 
you can have a look just to use this URL when I click this my account will be verified now I can log in from this account let's try the login okay I get the access token and remember this time for the uh, user we, which we are logging in is not the admin user and we are going to use the admin resource now let's try this and if I click and you can see we are able to use the admin resource which is not fine so we should restrict this role or any other role other than admin to use this API so what we need to do as I told that uh, go back here and add this role is equals to admin now start this okay now let's try with the uh, uh, admin role first so my admin role name was Salman D and password was same so Salman D is the user uh, which has the role of uh, admin and we have restricted the resource to be used by the admin only let's make sure that it's working for the admin or not let's go back here and paste or try get it here yeah that's fine now it's time to check log it out and let's check for the HR so let's just change this D to B so Salman B is not admin this has the role of HR and let's copy the access token for this one and paste and now we try to execute we are getting 403 forbidden error that means we are authenticated but we are not authorized to use this API or resource 401 means you are not authorized to this app or uh, to use this resource 403 means forbidden error that you are authenticated user but you don't have permission to use this resource now for this you can check logout that means you are not you, do, you don't have any credential you don't have any password uh, you, you have not entered any credential user and password you don't have any code token and you are trying to access you will be getting 401 and when you have token a valid token but your role does not have uh, access to that resource so you will be getting 403 error now uh, that's fine now uh, similarly we can create a separate controller for the HR so uh, we can limit or you know give the access to the specific user to the specific API so I hope this uh, video uh, clears your concept up pretty much if you really like this video there is a lot thing a much lot thing for uh, you know explain on this topic but I have uh, explained a very little bit to give an, a basic idea uh, okay so if you have li uh, if find this video uh, very helpful to you then please like this video share and subscribe to my channel then see you in the next video with the new uh, topic like uh, we are gonna implement the forget password functionality and see you in the next video take care love is